So this type of flow comes from the potential flow. And this is for inviscid flow. Here we are given a circular cylinder of radius A, which is not rotating. And we are given a free stream of velocity U infinity. So this can be molded as a superposition of two elementary flows the two elementary flows are uniform flow plus a doublet at origin The uniform flow would be given by U infinity times Z and the doublet is given by M by Z where M is the strength of the doublet the complex potential is phi of Z This is of the uniform flow. This is of the doublet. The doublet would be like this. Let the flow direction would be in this direction. Modify it a little bit. So this can be written as cos theta plus i sin theta plus m over r cos theta minus i sin theta separate out the real and imaginary terms and you will get u infinity r plus m by r times the cos theta plus i times m over r minus sin theta plus u infinity sin theta so our phi in terms of r and theta would be u infinity r plus m by r cos theta and psi in terms of r and theta would be u infinity sin theta minus m over r sin theta excellent this is the real potential which is the gradient of the of which the gradient of which is the velocity field this is the complex potential this is the complex potential this is the strain function and this phi is a type of black box for the flow it contains all the information about the flow regime and the history of the flow, etc. etc.
so consider initially we just have the doublet and the uniform flow we are not concerning about the cylinder anymore now but these two flow together makes a type of flow which is just equivalent to the flow past a circular cylinder since the above situation generate a body of a particular shape and here the body is a cylinder so along the cylinder the stream function must have the same value and by convention it is taken as zero since the contour of the body must lie in on a streamline so that the fluid does not just pierce into the body as it would not be possible it would be an absurd so by convention it, the stream function is taken as zero for the contour and we would get u infinity sin theta minus m by r sin theta equals to zero here would be r so you would get either sin theta equals to zero or m equals to u infinity r square the r from this result gives the value of the radius of the cylinder that is m over u infinity to the square root this is the radius of the cylinder radius of the circular cylinder from here we would get theta equals to 0 and pi this is a very important result as it comprehended us as if you take the strength of a doublet equals to u infinity times the radius square then the flow represents nothing but the flow across the cylinder and this cylinder is not rotating also note we are ignoring the viscous effects and all so we can say that m is the key here now we are interested in finding the velocities and the stagnation point just try to note that this streamline also has a zero value because here sin theta boils down to 0 and 0 as we know that d phi uppercase phi over dz equals to u minus iv or in terms of the polar coordinate it is vr minus i v theta times e to the power minus i theta so d phi over dz equals u infinity minus m over z square which can be written as u infinity minus m over r square e to the power minus 2i theta
और u इन्फिनिटी e टू द पावर i थीटा माइनस m ओवर r स्क्वायर e टू द पावर माइनस i थीटा टाइम्स द i थीटा सो u इन्फिनिटी cos थीटा प्लस आयोटा साइन थीटा माइनस एम ओवर आर स्क्वायर कॉस थीटा माइनस आयोटा साइन थीटा टाइम्स ई टू द पावर माइनस आयोटा थीटा नाउ सेपरेट आउट द रियल एंड इमेजिनरी टर्म्स Further note that d phi over d z is nothing but the complex velocity. So basically, we are performing a conformal mapping. Conformal in the sense that it preserves the area. because initially the vectors are in an orthogonal basis and finally after the transforming psi and phi phi and psi are also mutually orthogonal so it has an orthogonal basis so the angle remains same so again it is a conformal mapping equals to v r plus iota v theta times e to the power minus iota theta so v r equals u infinity minus m over r square times cos theta and v theta equals minus u infinity minus m over r square sin theta now for r is equals to a v r equals to 0 obviously the fluid does not penetrate into the body of the cylinder and only v theta is alive along the contour of the cylinder that is is to u theta sin theta so at the points a and b these are the points which are known as stagnation point because both vr and v theta are zero here so these two points are the stagnation point where the velocity is zero and at the rest part of the contour only the tangential component of velocity is active and the radial component is zero also note that origin is the center of the cylinder and the type of streamlines would change if you rotate the cylinder or if there is a viscous effect and all in the upcoming lectures we'll be looking at the drag and lift drag and lift of the cylinder and the d ambers paradox all right